Good evening. Um, tonight I am going to do a very quick tutorial on using physics and physics constraints to easily animate um, particular scenes. Um, I've used physics constraints on a couple of different props over the last year that I think are pretty helpful. Um, tonight we're going to do one for punching bags. Um, and in the near future, I'd like to do two more um, different kinds of props, show you how I've, I've set them up in different kind of scenarios. But tonight we're going to do a punching bag. So I've loaded up my boxer character here. And I found a boxing um, animation. I know there's several boxing animations in... Um, several boxing animations as defaults in inside of iClone. I have some, um, some animations that I want to use. I know I found some... Uh, through Mixamo, I believe, and let me see if I can find them now. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Mixamo motions for iClone. You can look online. Um, there's a gentleman who has uploaded a lot of them. Mixamo motions as formatted for iClone already, hundreds and hundreds of them. Um, but I'm not going to give you that uh, that URL. You can find it yourself if you do a search. Uh, the legality of it. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but one of those one of those motions is called speed bag, and this is actually one of the reasons why I decided to make this prop. Um, here you see the character's got a nice little speed bag motion, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some default props, uh, some default bum bum 3D blocks to set up a speed bag so that you can see the concept and then what I'll do is I'll show you the prop that I made and how it was used in a video very easily. Um, to make a speed bag um, I'm going to use two two different little 3D props. I'm going to use this half sphere and I'm going to use the cone and I'm going to set up what looks basically like an ice cream cone. So come in here I'm going to rotate this around about 180 here and we'll set it there and then I'm going to shrink it down a little bit there we go so looks kind of like I said like an ice cream cone I'm going to attach the bottom to the top the ball to the cone as it were I'm going to go down to attach and this is just making a very very basic prop just for the concept and then I'm going to merge it so that we just have one prop Okay, and I'm going to change the um, I'm going to change the pivot of this prop to the top center. Okay, we'll shrink it down and we'll put it in place where it's about where he would be hitting it in this animation. Let's shrink it also. Do 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 do. That's about maybe about like that. That's probably the size of a of a speed bag. And drop it down so it's about in his face. Nope, that's not even close, is it? <laughs> yeah, let's slide it over here. Okay, let's take a look. Generally, I think a speed bag would be a little higher. Pull it up. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's about the right place. You can see his hands going through it, so that's going to be about the right placement. Okay, so we've made our prop, and we've put it in place for the motion to affect it. The first step will be to activate the physics. Now, as you know, you hit start, it's going to drop because the physics are just the, the um, gravity pulls the, fix, uh, the, the object down. It's set as dynamic. And we're going to change the shape, the bounding, to a convex hole so that it's going to be much closer so that if he's hitting and it doesn't actually touch the prop, it won't do anything. Okay. And then, again, it's still going to fall even with the bounding. What we need is our physics constraint. And so we scroll to the bottom, we say add constraint here, and it gives us this little add constraint uh, toolbox. It has lots of different kinds of constraints. Now for a for a punching bag, I find the hinge constraint to be the easiest to use. You don't want the, the speed bag to be bouncing all over the place, you just want it to be going back and forth. So I'm simply going to grab that hinge constraint, which is the first one in the box, and I'm going to, you can see the little blue line, wants to align it to the, the speed bag. It's very hard to do when the point is so small. And that's okay. We're just going to go in here. We're going to kill the rotation to zeros. 
and see if it kind of is rotating how we would want it. It almost is. But the thing I want here, I want it to be rotating with him. So I'm going to align it about like that. Okay, let's see what happens now. Is it going to drop to the ground? What's it going to do? Oh, look at that. It's kind of working already, which is nice, but it's weird, right? Like, watch this. Watch the very beginning. His fist should be touching it with the first strike, and yet nothing happens. The reason for this, and the reason that it's working at all, is because his, the character, if you go into the main menu for the character, and we go scroll up to the top, and you look at the collision shapes. Um, I've actually set these. Now, you have lots and lots of defaults on your collision shapes. You can turn them on and off. Okay, and he has lots of his on. I'm going to turn a lot of them off. And then we can even look at them, right? Um, he's got boxes. Let's see if we can... Uh, where's the show? Activate show active shapes. And it's a little small in this case. Let's see what happens if I... Um, can I hide his boxing glove? Yeah, his hands aren't even on there. Okay, so come back in. I feel like I'm, I just dropped something. What was it? Did, did collision shapes? Okay, there you go. Now we can see a little bit. The collision shape is pretty small compared to the glove, right? If we add the glove back in, you can see how it's a little smaller than the glove. Okay. And that's okay. We can change the shape of the of the collision shape on the character. You make sure that your your character himself is selected back into there. Select that and you can actually change that shape completely to however you like. Widen it up. Do the same with the other side or in this case, he's using a capsule. You can change the type from box to sphere or capsule in that case. The box isn't so bad for me, honestly, as long as it's covering a lot of the glove itself, right, to there. So what you want to do is basically get it how you want it. Here you can see, widen it up a little bit, and I'm going to pull it out to the top of the glove like so. And let's see how that works for us. That's not bad. And you can see, I mean, I haven't done anything. All we did was add the constraint, turned on the physics, and made sure that our character had his um, his collision shapes working, and he's doing all the work for us. We're not actually having to animate that, that speed bag in this case. Um, if you were setting up a larger punching bag, you'd do the exact same thing. Uh, the, make sure that the hinge is at the top. There's a few other characteristics that you can do that you can change with the, with the hinge. Um, the rotation constraints, the rotation limits, so that it won't loop all the way around if that's what you need. You can set some of the bounce so that it's a little bit heavier. Um, I'm just going to show you very quickly. This is a video. Do, 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 if I can find it. I want to find this video that I made. Um, boxing. That's not it. I'm sorry, give me half a second. I think I actually, in true fashion, I would hide certain things in the wrong places. Uh, put a boxing video under something called Melville. <laughs> okay, so here you can see a video that I put together the exact same physics on a prop that I created. Um, and then basically just add the animations to the character and let the let the prop itself do the work. You don't have to animate any of that. So very easy kind of scene to create using physics All right and now I'll just load very quickly I'll show you the uh, the actual prop that I created um, I've got it on my my store in the um, real illusion content store or actually I don't think I have put it up there yet I, it's something I've been meaning to do um, so the prop looks like this Let's see if I can go find it custom 2021 punching bags okay I'll hide the, hide the character now and the prop that we just made so that you can see the prop that I've created. Looks like this, has several different pieces. I'll 
punching bag piece and it, we go in here and you can see because it's red you know that the physics is turned on if I go in and I turn on the hinge you can see the exact same type of constraint sitting at the top center and then the speed bag itself over here the hinge much smaller in this case but it's sitting right there on the speed bag and so the exact same easy animation can be done I just created the prop split it up added the constraints tied it back on all you have to do is drop your character and have him do his animation and you can get a very easy um, animation scene set quickly okay so I hope that was helpful somewhat and I'm hoping to do like I said a couple more of these using physics constraints and different types of props just to show you some other examples uh, until then, have a good night. Happy filming.